All right. So uh, where, where are we at? Uh, verse seven. Go ahead. Verse seven. Oh, thou that verse art. Seven to what? Micah chapter two, verse seven. O oh, thou that art named the house of Jacob, is the spirit of the Lord straightened? Are these his doings? Do not my words do good to him that walketh uprightly? So the Most High words accomplish what he said he's going to do to those <coughs> who walk uprightly. So-called white man ain't walking upright, and, and two-thirds of our people are not either. That's why he's about to destroy their ass. All right? Give me that, in, uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 34, 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. The Most High said, His sword will be bathed in heaven and come down on the people I Idumia. That's the Edomites, the so-called red people who are white people, man. The Most High is coming down with judgment for all the abominations of what you all have done to our people. And That's he's going right. to destroy you, man. Destroy. That's right. Go ahead. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. He called them the people of his curse. So-called red man is the people of his curse. That's thus said the Lord. So what's part of the curse? They will never cast a lot in the congregation of the Most High. They're going to be utterly destroyed. Go ahead. Okay, well, give me a Malachi 1 and 2. Because the Most High is about to destroy this place and he's going to pay back uh, and revenge his sons and daughters for what the atrocities that the so-called Caucasian people have done to our people. That's man. right! The Most High is coming back. Your kingdom is going down. That's man. right! The Most High is taking over and you all got to pay. That's you got right. to pay the piper, man. We've been singing the song. We've been out here piping and dancing, singing. And nobody been listening except the elect. All right? And that's cool, because we come out here to prophesy to the wind, man. Because it's out, out of a thousand men, we're going to find one. That's right. We ain't even got a calculation on the woman, man. <laughs> that's how sad that is. Malachi. Uh, he got it. Go ahead, brother. Malachi 1 and 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. The Most High said he loved Jacob, which is the twelve tribes of Israel, and he hated Esau. That's right. That's so called white man. That's why y'all getting destroyed. You stole our land, you stole our people, and you don't believe in the Most High. You say it's okay for homosexuals to get married. You say it's okay to go ahead and do this abomination, eat this abomination, and do all kind of, take people's lands and everything. The most I take it, man, he come to get you, man. He gonna destroy you, man. Your kingdom going down, man. Go ahead. And I hated Esau. And the most I said he hated Esau. Genesis 25 and 25 says there's a red man. All right, go ahead. He laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So he laid it, his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Desolate, empty, shitty. Go ahead. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. And this is what y'all done. Y'all built these desolate places, man. Look at this shit. Bullshit. This is, uh, you think this is glorious? He said, not a stone going to be left. And y'all know this because you're making all these movies, uh, the obliteration of all these damn places, man. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. He said, I will tear it down. Tear it down, tear it down. The most I going to tear it down. I see a different color this time, man. <laughs> Oh, All right, go ahead. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord has indignation forever. And he said the, against the people who the Lord has indignation. Uh, somebody give me a dictionary. Go look up the word indignation, man. I want you to read that again.
Cause the most high is not happy, man. Somebody got in the, um, you gonna pull that out for me? Can you read that again for me? It doesn't matter, brother. You gonna, somebody, yeah. it's, it's the one in the bags, brother. Yeah. The board, trust me. Where does Edom said we are impoverished, but we will return them to desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people of Gusum against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. So the Most High says he's going to tear it down, man. He's going to tear it down, and he has indignation against them forever. Um, so but if they want to talk, she's got to come, she can come over here. So he needs to stand close, man. This is glory, man. It, it, uh, it's, it's, it ain't, ain't, no, ain't no shit. All right, did you got, somebody got that definition? Come on, brother, with that, uh, are you looking up in the Zonovans? I'm looking at Zonovans. All right, go, give me the, get somebody go in the uh, Websters, man. I would, I would somebody call you, is, yeah, come on, y'all. They sleep, man, wake up. I mean, come on, brothers, wake oh, up. Man. I want the definition of indignation. Anger. Because right now, the most high is not, you got something right there? All right. Y'all think this is a joke, man. People walking around thinking everything is hunky dory, about to ce celebrate some wicked Valentine's Day. Another pagan holiday is another is a damn near ho pagan holiday every month, man. Designed to get your money, designed to get in your pocket, and designed to go make you go off. All right, uh, you got the dictionary, brother. You got it. Yeah. All right. Read that scripture again, brother. Malachi 1 and 4. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. Indignation. Read that definition for me because it's very short and very sweet. Read that one more time, then you give me indignation. Hold fast. Go ahead, brother. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. The Most High said, he, these are the people, so-called white man, is the people he will have indignation for forever. What's the definition of indignation, man? Indignation. Righteous anger. Sure. Is that it? Yeah. Indignation. Righteous anger. Wait a minute, one more time. Indignation. Righteous anger. The Most High has got righteous anger Here. against these people, man. And so do the men of the Lord. Give me um, Psalms 139 when David says, uh, uh, don't I hate them with a the perfect hatred? Because we got perfect hatred. That's righteous anger because you have been wicked. And any so-called nigger and so-called Latino and so-called Native American who've been following after this white, wicked white man is going to be destroyed too, man. Bring it up, brother. This is Isaiah 24 and 5. The earth also is defiled under the ha inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, changed laws, transgressed the Most High's royal law, then went around and made up some wicked laws. Hey, you know what? You can go ahead and drink blood. You know what? Eat pork. Go ahead on. Let's let homosexuals do what they want. Matter of fact, let's hide a nation from their identity and their heritage and their culture. Let me go ahead on and steal this land. Well, let me go ahead on and steal that land. Let me go ahead on and just say, wait a minute, the greatest blasphemy of all. Let me say that they are the, the most high. Paint a blue-eyed, white, Fasted, blonde head demon. You know what I'm saying? Give me the Caesar Borgia picture, man. Caesar Borgia, man. <laughs> this is what they done. They made our father our glorious power into a weak ass, shit eating white man. When he's supposed to have an image something like this. And people wonder why the Most High has righteous indignation, man. If you niggas don't
don't wake up to the reality of what's going on, you will not be in the presence of the Most High. Right? Yes, Lord. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. That's right. And this is who our people want to make it in the kingdom. <laughs> so they can defile that. I know, right. They have the United States of Israel. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have Jewtown over there. We're going to have Creek Town over there. We're going to have Chinese Chinatown in Israel. They eat cash in the goddamn kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Because that that's just how they are. That's just, that's them. That's how they was made. Just like uh, we was talking about last night, oh, yeah, uh, Isaiah, matter of fact, I got it right here. Isaiah 26 and 10, it says, let favor be showed to the wicked, yet they will not learn righteousness. They will what? They will not learn righteousness. So if you try to be nice to the wicked, all they're going to do is walk right over you. And they tell you in their songs, oh, it was that walk right over you. They, right, they tell it, they don't, they don't lie. I mean, they do lie, but they tell you the truth and lies together, which is the most wickedest thing. To go, because the part of your spirit, like, but that really sounds good. That sounds nice. Then they throw the lie in there. You be like, well, I guess that must be true too. You wicked ass bastards. Give me a in a, in a uh, pocket for never trust your enemy. Go ahead. Uh, in the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. So they won't behold the majesty of the Most High. Right. But but read the part we say the land of upright because that's the point that you was making. Huh? Right. right. Uh, let favor be showed to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. If grace was shown unto the wicked to, right. for them to get into the kingdom, He's still not going to learn righteousness. That's right. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly. So in the kingdom, he will still find a way to fuck up. That's right. He still found a way to try to put Jake back into slavery. That shit. That's, that's, that, that's, the whole, that's their whole agenda, man. Let's keep that Psalms 82. I mean, it's a slacky. Psalms 83. That's Psalms 2. That's the whole scriptures, man. It's telling you from Genesis to tell you about the enmity between her seed and our seed, man. That's why y'all niggas who don't uh, read this Bible and go to, and y'all go to these wicked ass churches, man, y'all gonna be destroyed. I got a precept for you. Bring it out, brother. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 15. That which is crooked cannot right. be made straight. <laughs> Hallelujah. And that which is wanting cannot be numbered. So you can't make something straight that the Most High made crooked. They're gonna be destroyed, man. They are here to be our adversaries, man. And why are you loving them? What has white man done for you? Huh? Nothing. What has white man done for you, sweetie? Absolutely nothing. See, every time we ask a black man that or a black woman that, they say nothing. Because they ain't done nothing for us. Why we put so much love and trust in somebody who stole us, beat us, hung us, and raped us? That's right. But the Most High himself say he don't like them, man. John. They don't read the scriptures, man. 139. Come on, okay, you got Psalms 139. Read Psalms 139. And they talk about the Bible don't got nothing about hating it. There is. We hate wickedness and people who don't love the most high. Who stole us and beat us and killed us and raped us, man. And still doing it to this day. Come over to our neighborhood, man. Come to our part out of the woods. Come see how it is, how life is with us. All right? Go ahead, brother. Psalms 139, verse 21 and 22. Do I hate them, O oh Lord, that hate me? Go back thee? up, go up, start up, start up uh, uh, the bloody people. Because that's talking about, and then give me Genesis 25. Ooh, just, just let's let known who this bloody people is, man. No, no, I want you to go to uh, the, uh, the, uh, the bloody, go up a couple of verses. Depart, depart. He got it, he got it. Psalms 139, 19. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O oh God. Surely. The Most High said he will slay the wicked. Go ahead. Depart from me. So there's somebody down here who is wicked as hell. And when the, 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 the greatest damn thing this devil will do is make you think he's nice. That's why he's so wicked. He'll sit there and smile in your face and like, hi, how you doing? Everything's okay. Where's your license and registration? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know, oh, oh, you didn't get one of my licenses. Even though it's nowhere in the Bible says you need a license to drive a chariot. That's a wicked ass law. 
making billions of dollars a, a year and then taking people a $20,000 car for a little uh, 50, $25 ticket or some dumb shit, man. And, and this is, go ahead, brother. This is some.